Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a closer look at the agent to agent protocol or A2A for short. We'll explore its core philosophy, which is fundamentally different from frameworks like Crew AI. Using an end-to-end -end practical example, I'm gonna show you how these independent agents can communicate and how they can handle everything from simple queries to complex multi-step orders. No prior knowledge of A2A is required for this video. You might be familiar with frameworks like Crew AI, which allows you to build a team of agents. Imagine we wanted to build a kitchen ordering system with Crew AI. Then we'd probably define a waiter agent, a chef agent, as source objects within a single application. They run in the same process and can directly access the same data. This is very efficient for modeling an internal process. But A2A is designed for a different scenario. Here, a customer's agent, say, on a smartphone, is a completely independent application. The restaurant's agent is a second independent application running on the restaurant server. They are not in the same system, so they can't just talk to each other. They need a formal standardized way to communicate, just like a real customer walking up to the counter. But how does the customer's agent know what it can order from the restaurant's agent and how to address it? It needs the menu and the house rules, so to speak. And in A2A, that is the agent card. So the client agent fetches the restaurant agent's agent card. This is a JSON file that describes everything that is important. What's the agent's name? How do I need to authenticate using HTTP headers? And most importantly, what are its skills? For example, it might list a skill with an ID or the food and a description or the food from the menu. And then the client knows, oh, I'm at the right place. After the customer has studied the menu, they can place an order. And here A2A offers two fundamentally different paths. The first one is stateless communication. This is an absolute game changer for simple integrations. For me, this is like the MCP moment of A2A, because just as the model context protocol simplified Tulio switch by providing a stateless alternative, A2A allows that now too. Let's say our customer just wants to ask a quick question. They send a simple message using message sent as the method name. So this is how a simple message request looks like with JSON RPC. The restaurant agent can answer this question immediately. It replies directly with a message object. So request in, response out. No state is saved. So this is perfect for quick queries. But the real order is more complicated. So the kitchen has to confirm the order. Maybe an ingredient is out of stock. This is where we need the second part, the stateful communication using the task object. The customer's request is now a real order. I'd like a pepperoni pizza, for example. The message send call looks almost the same, but this time the restaurant agent responds differently because it can't give an immediate confirmation. So have a look at the response object from the restaurant agent. Here you can see kind is task and the status has got a state object which has got a value of working. So do you see the difference? The server does not send a final confirmation, but a task object with a task ID. It's saying, I received your request. Here is your tracking number. I'll remember the state and get back to you. But now the reality kicks in. The kitchen reports back, we are out of salami. So we assume they misheard. The restaurant agent changes the task status quo to input required and attaches a message. Unfortunately, we are out of salami. Would you like a pepperoni pizza instead? The client agent, which is monitoring the task, gets the status update. For example, it can use polling by task get or by subscribing to real-time updates by using message slash stream. The client agent presents the question to the user and sends the reply like, yes, pepperoni sounds great, back with a task ID. After the kitchen finally confirms the corrected order, the restaurant agent sets the task to complete it. So the task object allowed us to model an asynchronous process, the confirmation from the kitchen and a multi-turn dialogue. And if something goes wrong, A2A provides standardized error codes, so the client knows directly what happened. So this means A2A offers the right communication path for every use case. And that's our technical deep dive in theory into the A2A protocol. We've understood its core philosophy compared to frameworks like Crew AI and how agent cards enable discovery, how the dual nature of stateless messages and stateful task offers incredible flexibility. In the upcoming videos, we'll have a look at different A2A implementations. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.